Hey guys, welcome to another series of Who Won, where we analyze rap battles and actually see which one of the two participants actually won. In today's episode, we're going to be doing Pennywise versus The Joker, with the epic rap battle series, of course. So I decided to create the series just to analyze who actually won by actually looking at their bars, the way they look, and their swag, which means their delivery. So today we're going to do exactly just that. So I do know a lot about the Joker, but to be honest with you, I don't know that much about Pennywise. But I did some research, just enough for me to actually understand what they're talking about, for me to do a deep down analysis on this video right here. So if you guys like this kind of content, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below, let me know which kind of rap battle would you guys like to see next. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna break this down into three categories. Bars, looks, the way they look, and their swag, which means their delivery, the way they rap. All right, so I'm gonna analyze all the top bars that I deem worthy to actually mention, and I'm gonna grade them on a scale from one to 10. And sometimes if the bar is real good and the way they deliver it, I might add a few extra points. And when it comes to looks and delivery or swag, I'm gonna rate that in between one to 100. So now that we got all the groundwork out of the way, let's go. In my first appearance, the back was supposed to slay me, but I can't be killed. That's why they cast a phoenix to play me. That line right there is a great line. I'm gonna actually give that one a 10. Joaquin Phoenix is the one that played the Joker, and the phoenix is actually, once you kill a phoenix, it rises from the ashes. So that's a good line right there. I'm the Harley Quinn of hate, the clown prince of crime. Your sewer troll that Stephen King wrote between his lines. Wrote between his line, I'm gonna give that one a 10. It gives a double meaning saying, hey, he was actually writing a script and then he decided to write the It franchise. Or you can actually take it this way where you actually break down a drug and then do some, you know, I'm going to keep this PG, but I'm going to give that one line a 10. <laughs> it's like cocaine. You know what I said. I don't know how any kind of joke could ever go over that head. They all float, says the quote, but your films, they all sink. Oh, and as far as Mr. King goes, I'm a shining man. We got now, I'm going to give Joker 20 points just because he quoted a line from the It franchise and then let him know, hey, your, your movies, they all sync. And also, Shining Man to play me, wink. Play on words, yes. Now, the same person that was cast in The Shining also cast the person that played the Joker a while back. I made the Justice League look like just a bunch of super slugs. You lost to a herd of nerds who call themselves the Losers Club. 10 for the Losers Club. You be gobbled up in Gotham, so stick to your small town Where you're renowned, see if it's brown, flush it down, clown Give the last line from Joker a good eight Are you joking? You wanna rap? Rap, 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 Are you so serious? You're supposed to be the man who laughs But those jokes are like your new move Mostly really sad I'm giving Pennywise 20 for the way he set up everything with all those bars. I mean, it's not something solid, but he gave he, the way he delivered it was good. So I'll give him a 20 for that. You're John Doe with my deadlights, and you're about to fall from a new height. Because you're weeping, you've lost every fight. Good night, who wears underwear over his tights? Everybody knows that Batman, not the current iteration of Batman now, but Batman's like back in the 90s, they always had their underwears on top of their suits. And that never made sense to me. It always looked, it, you know, eh. It doesn't matter what I think, but I'm giving that line a nice 10. Nightmares and I'm ruthless. This battle's like poker, the Joker is. This battle's like poker, they're jokerless. That line, great play on words. If, if, if I were to give my own opinion, I believe that line was the best line in the whole rap battle. So it gets a 10 nonetheless. Useless, when he's starting your cards, call me Arkham Asylum, I'm crazy with bars! Jeff Nichols who played you just fine, but lately the class is declined. Jared Leto came out trying to look like he was Takashi 6 9 now this line right here gets a solid 10. I mean, come on, like Takashi 6ix9ine and Jared Leto, like if you actually look, it, it, you have to know, like look at the comparison. I mean, yeah, I can see it. It looks real, it, it was a real play on words right there. So I'm giving that line a nice 10. So unless you've got a yummy younger brother, I think you'd better run. Cause I've got 99 red balloons, bitch. And I tell you to take one. Now for a final line, I mean, it's cool. He's quoting Jay-Z, 99 problems, but uh, ain't one. And, you know, we got 99 balloons and he dared him to take one. Uh, I'll give that a nice, you know, play on words, but mm, could have came hard, especially with the lines he gave above. So I'm going to have to give that one a five. Go back in your well, you giggling suet ginger. You lost to a turtle and wasn't even a ninja. Now, I believe that line is a deep cut from a comic book from Pennywise. And he was actually beaten by a turtle. So I'm going to give him a nice nine for that bar right there. Cool, Ninja Turtle, all that nine. When I flow, I go Mark Ham with Hill Zigger. I steal the show like Bob Kane stole from Bill Bigger. I spit acid, 
loud Every joke of mine stings Your three nightlights in a cloud Beat by the kid from Stranger Things I'll give it a seven When I compare your antics to the fiendish schemes I revel in They pale like the moonlight you can dance with the devil in Do you always like the devil? We have so much fun together But no one's dying to play with Joker Except for maybe he's like it. <sighs> I would love to say too soon But as far as a rap battle there's no such thing as too soon. You just go in, you go for the kill. And Pennywise went for the kill. Maybe Heat Ledger, you know, RIP Heat Ledger, but that line was a great line. That's another good line held by Pennywise in this great rap battle here. So of course I'm giving that one a 10. You're an embarrassment. I bet you like you beat Harlequin. That purple suit is something you should only see Steve Harvey in. The reason I'm giving this Steve Harvey line a 10 is because it's just the way he came in, the whole flow and delivery with it. Of course, it should go into swag, but I'm mean, gonna give it a solid 10 for that. I mean, I've seen Steve Harvey wear a purple suit before, so yeah, I'll give it a 10. The way he came in, all that, perfect. Ah! Ah! My face on your face! The main attraction every 27 years. But you know what? I have a secret. It's like a very special toy. If you wanna kill a Batman, eat him when he's a boy. Don't you lay a finger on my back, you little freak, or I will spend a whole week knocking out those prickle teeth! <laughs> Tell your author for his next gangbang scene, how about a little more PG and a lot less 13? Now Joker's coming back now, Joker's coming back. I'll give that line a 10. Even I wouldn't stoop to that kind of impropriety. This is Earth, you space demon. We live in a society! <laughs> seen your movies, so I know you don't hurry, but I'll shoot you down the drain so fast, so call your Tim Scurry. Another 10. Ask Robin if I drop bars, I take smiles and I leave scars. <sighs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now, if you don't know that much about the whole Batman franchise, there's an actual comic where Joker kills Robin with a crowbar. So if you don't know that one, that probably flew over your head, but that one landed, crash landed right here. Didn't fly over, crash landed right there. So I'm giving that line a 10 plus another 10. And I know I said a line before was the best line in the verse. No, 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 no. This line was the best line in the rap battle. Matter of fact, this rap battle right here is so much impactful with bars, it's crazy. All right, I can't even make my mind up, but I'm giving that one two tens. Scars and Arkham will admit that the Joker just killed it. Ar he killed it, goes with a comic book, so I'm giving that one a seven. Killed it, Arkham. He <laughs> stole that from H.P. Lovecraft. Who needs guards when you couldn't even escape Cesar Romero's mustache? Can't escape Cesar Romero's mustache. Cesar Romero, old school actor, played the Joker. He didn't want to cut off his mustache because that was his manhood. The same way I won't cut my mustache and my beard. No matter how much you ask me to, I'm not doing it. I love my beard. So if they ask me to play the Joker, you're going to have to paint all this in white. Well, you're going to have to paint all this in white. But anyways, I'm giving that line a 10. Jester, I'm on dresser, but I'm making my Fortnite and seal this battle up like it was the cast of a Montanado. Who's with January Ember Flames? You got beat by the Scooby Gang. The John Wayne, John Wayne, they sees the underground crown party where flows insane. Poster boy for missing person posters, Joker's gonna float with me. Cause he just messed with the best wall I've ever seen. It's a notorious B.I.G. The way Pennywise finished it, I'm gonna have to give it 30 cause he has some good parts, but the way he ended, the best wall eyed rapper since the notorious B.I.G. Knowing that he had those you know that eyes the lazy eye or whatever wall eye. i don't know how you want to call it but i'm giving that line a 30. now that we got all the killing bars out the way let's go into the swag how did they do well like as far as the way they rap the way they came off the way they delivered i'm not gonna lie let's start off with joker i'm giving joker a solid 90 as far as swag remember this is on a scale from 1 to 100 now joker gets a 90. now joker he did come in real good and the reason he sounded like the joker he looked like the joker Everything came out, like I'm talking about the old school Joker. He sounded like the old school Joker from that animated Batman series. So they got some cool points with me. I'm giving him a nine as far as rapping. He did good, he did good. But when it comes to Pennywise, the way Pennywise came in and you hear like the way he switches tone up, like it was good. So Pennywise is gonna have to get a hundred as far as swag. His delivery was on point. That purple suit is something you shall only see Steve Harvey in. I can't do it. I'll just leave it to, you know, the people that's in an epic rap battle. I can't do it, you know. I kind of embarrassed myself just there. But his swag was 100. So Joker gets 90, Pennywise gets 100. 
for swag. Now let's go on for looks and boy did they kill it on looks. The Joker actually reminded me of Joker. They killed it on his makeup and Pennywise they did the same exact thing. They went in as far as production they both look amazing. So they both is gonna get 100 points each. Now we got all that out the way. All right, now let's find out. So with all the points that Joker got, Joker has so much point. And my gosh, to be honest with you, it's a very tight battle. As you guys can see, I probably have the number somewhere up here, but Joker has 311 points and Pennywise has 315 points. My gosh, you guys may not agree with me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment below. But during everything with my opinion, of course, with my opinion, calculating everything, it looks like Pennywise takes the battle. Now the reason I like this battle, especially when it comes to DC character, um, when they had Goku versus Superman, I believe in my opinion, I haven't done no breakdown like this, but I believe Goku just destroyed Superman and uh, when it comes to Stevie Wonder versus Wonder Woman, another DC character, Stevie Wonder destroyed Wonder Woman. But this time is a bit different because a lot of people, this one is very controversial. I'm pretty sure some of you guys may not agree with me on this one, but on this one, I do believe that the Joker you know, he, he held his ground. He held his ground. And to a lot of people, you might say like, hey, you know, Joker won. But based on everything, and to be honest with you, before I did the whole deep down analysis, I would say the Joker destroyed Pennywise. But now looking at it, like, you know, taking the time, actually analyzing bar for bar, seeing what was said, how they look, the swag, I have to give it to Pennywise. And Pennywise only got four points more so he didn't destroy the joker so this one could be controversial he did not destroy the joker but based on my opinion and you know my word even though i don't even like the results maybe because i just like dc and i just learned about it and i knew it was around but hey anyway it doesn't matter it's not my opinion it's about you what you guys think make sure you guys comment down below let me know which other characters or which other rap battle would you like me to do to see who won Comment down below, let me know. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the channel so much. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Eli. It's been a pleasure with you guys today. Have a good one.